I want to be like somebody, at least for a couple hours a day, it's this dude. Excited? Is this the kind of winning energy you're putting into your business? Yes or no? Some of you right now, you're getting offended by the way I'm talking to you, and you're like, this is Why did you spend your money to come out here? Give me a damn answer. Why? Some of you are entitled. You don't want to learn nothing. You know why? You're stuck in your own way. You don't have the growth mindset. You got a fixed mindset. I can smell it on you. All day long, we've had great speakers in here. Am I right? Yes or no? Yeah! yeah. Why the hell are half you guys looking at your phone? Why are you not clapping? Why, when they were done speaking, did you not stand up and say, man, my God, that could have saved me five or six years. What he just told me, right. and you couldn't stand up and clap for him? You know who you are, you're disrespectful. And I want to say something. Listen to me, I don't care whether you like me or you don't. Does winning recognize your attitude? Mm. Yes or no? Yes. Listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Don't you say yes if it doesn't. Don't be a fraud. Don't be a damn fraud. I'm here to call you out and tell you I'm gonna call you out just like my wife called me out when our life changed. Okay, and I believe in something called total recreation. Reinvent yourself. The people you look up to in life right now who you aspire to be were not always great. We're all losers till we're not. We all suck until we don't. Am I right? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day, your goal is to figure out how to kick your own ass. Don't you ever let someone else come and kick your ass. You need to know your business better than anyone else. Am I right? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it is you want to do, you need to know what it is that you want to do better than anyone. Yep. Period. Are you undeniably the best at what you do? If not, then what the hell is your problem? Because if you have been present in consciously paying attention today, have you seen any of these people today Hell excited yeah. to live life running around? Yeah, we didn't yeah. 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 Come on. Some of you may say, this is a hype game. This is the way we work all day, every day. This is the way that we've decided that we want to live. When they bury us in the dirt, we want to go out like this. What about you? Special energy for your family? I bet not. Don't lie. Don't lie. How many of you here are one dimensional? You give everything to one thing, but you suffer in other areas. Okay? I'm going to tell you this. If you listen to me as I go through this, I'll tell you why I have a team here and how an individual can be beat, but a team can't be freaking beat. Yeah! Come on. What leader do you wish you would have had when you sold? when you worked, whatever you did. Remember that person you wish you had? Yeah. Are you being that person for your team? Is I want you to look at the leaks, the leaks in your life. I want you to look at the leaks in your game. And I'm gonna, I want you to fix them. And by the way, we're all just the same people, am I right? Right, yeah. yeah. Speakers aren't better than you. Look, figure out something, whatever you wanna do, and figure out how to be the best at it. Undeniably, guess what? Become so good at what you do, you make your competition look like amateurs. Yeah. yeah. Do you hear me? Do you want that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you want this, you're gonna have to get pissed off. The attitude that I've seen in this room is not the winning attitude. It's not the winning energy. You can do two things, you can get defensive or you can get real. Okay, you know why I'm here? For Brad Lee. That's why I'm here. We're part of Brad's team. Brad! Sorry, you yeah. always yeah. 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 Mm. My amazing wife that kicks my ass every day. I'm gonna tell you guys something, listen to me. Because I'm gonna tell you this. I watched him grind. He talked about the social media platform the last four years, how he came up. Look, where are you gonna be in two years? Can I ask you this? If you consciously, everybody say consciously. Consciously. Consciously means this. Earlier they're talking about if you're around five crackheads, you'll be the six. If you're around five millionaires, you'll be the six. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Only if you're gonna be around five millionaires, if you're consciously listening, will you become the next one? You wanna make a hundred million? Easy. Easy. I know some of you guys right now, you're dead, Ian, on broke. 
I know some of you guys got a mess. Good. Good. You know the best place to go is back to zero. Every day, me and my company go back to zero. You know what that means? I don't care how much money we have. We go back to what it was like when we had nothing. You know why? Because we work with a healthy parent in a way that someone's coming after us trying to take it all away. You know, we have a term, don't be scared, right? Don't, you ever heard somebody say that in sales? Don't be scared, right? I, I grew up living by that, but I am scared. I'm not going backwards. I'm not going backwards. I'll die trying to keep going forwards in different areas. Number one with my team. Number two with my family. What's the value, right, of becoming worth all this money to literally give up your family? My wife, she told me we've learned to live without you because I gave everything to my business. Now as a man, you're like, what the hell's your problem? I came from this, I'm here now. No, she was telling me you're a one dimensional man. You can have it all, you got a mind problem, which Brad always talks about mindset first. I promise you, if you guys will sit down with me, okay? And I, I asked you to stand up because some of you, you're lazy. You don't want to stand up. Yep. And that's the reason why you don't have what you want in your life. And I'd rather give you three words, the cold hard truth, tell you the truth so at least you know when you lose why you lost. Listen to me. You don't have to like me, okay? But I'm going to tell you why. You want, what is your brand? Who you are? You know what? I followed a bunch of fake ass people when I was younger that didn't help me equivalent to anything because they didn't give me any real information. Cold, hard truth. Number one, if you do what's hard, your life will be easy. Am I right? Yeah. If you do what's easy, your life will be hard. Not standing up, not getting fired up. Winning energy. Does it take energy to win? Yeah, yeah that's it. Can I ask you a question? Does anybody in here sell anything or want to sell somebody on their dreams or want them to follow you or invest in your business? Yeah. Do you think people are going to want to do that in a good mood or a bad mood? In a good mood, right? So we're going to have to have these people in a good state, right? Look, you want people in a good state? You want them to want to do what it is you want them to do, right? It all starts with you. It's called transfer of emotion. The number one skill I will tell you that if you learn in your life, you will have everything you want is a skill to influence. The skill to persuade. But you ain't persuade nobody if you're not on fire yourself. And that's the problem. We got people out there trying to get what they want, but they're not the real deal. The reason why the real Brad Lee's fucking blown up all around the world is because he's real. And he won't lie to you. And to me, it's the people that lie to you, that tell you it's okay. Look, you don't have to do that. Those are the people that are wanting us to settle. It's your friends that when you're doing bullshit, they hit you in the mouth, that really care about you. You wanna know who loves you? The people that tell you the cold hard truth. I'm gonna tell you today how to change your life. I'm gonna ask you today to recreate. Listen to me, I don't care who you were yesterday. I don't care who you are today. You stung some people, you're a bad person. You've been to your family, don't, don't care. You've been doing great to your family, but your business sucks, cool. I don't care. You may know Jim Rohn? Jim Rohn, remember? Exactly. Tony Robbins mentor Jim oh. Rohn. Study everybody in the world. I study everybody all day long. Look, it, the world's your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for. Am I right? Right. When I was a kid, I was like freaking 18 years old, 1999. I wanted to find out how to sell. I had to read a 300 page book to get 10 pages of good content. Now you just go to the internet and you type in what you want and you, it's like, dude, this is crazy. Like I can study everybody. Guess what? Jim Rohn said, it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. Once I heard that, I said, okay, time to recreate. What I want while I'm talking to you is I want you to think about you, okay? Two words. Number one, two words is all we're gonna focus on today. Number one, leaks. What is a leak? A problem you have. Look, today I want you to look at you. And as I'm talking, I want you to write down because what you write will be retained. If you think about something right now and you don't write it down, you'll walk out that door, nothing's gonna change. Tonight, some of you are gonna go with the network deal, get trashed, and guess what? You shouldn't do that. You should go have a drink, you should go network, and then you should go home tonight and rewrite your life. Self-correct. You don't need anybody to tell you what to do. You guys know what to do. And that is where we get powerful. That's where we become dangerous. So the reason why I can grow so fast, which is what I'm gonna show you, is I look at guys like Brad Lee that taught us, okay? I consciously paid attention when he spoke. And then I want you to look for opportunities. <clears throat> opportunities and things you're currently not attacking right now. 
Okay, I went to a Patrick Met Day with it earlier last year, okay? Cost a lot of money, we went and did the whole VIP deal, totally worth it. Went for one reason, systems and processes. I wanted to know, so, my guys, I can close anybody, that's easy. I wanted the systems and processes. I was studying that systems and processes guy that was here at the Crocs because that's the next level in my company. That's my hole. 100 million to 500 million. That, that's the next hole is the systems and the processes. I'm telling you right now, you're like one or two things away from literally having a life that you've never even dreamed ever thought you'd have. Question is, will you execute? Because if you don't execute, it shall happen. Are you willing to sacrifice? And by the way, will you take your family with you? You have to. And then my goal ultimately is to have you build a team. I will, I'll take a bullet for these guys, they'll take one for me. You bet, Andy. We're with yeah, each other all day long, every day. You guys deserve that. That's my inner circle right here. Mm -hmm. You guys deserve to have a inner circle around that, and you're safe around your children, your kids, your family. And guess what? This is my family of choice. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you this, right? You guys will just consciously listen. If you're broke in on zero, you're in the best place in the world. Okay? You're in the best place in the world. You know how people work when their back's against the wall? You know how people work when you gotta have something done by tomorrow or else you're screwed? That's the way I work all day, every day. Sleep with my shoes on. And by the way, everybody say courage. Courage! There's a fucking shortage of courage in this world. You want this great life? You're gonna have to have courage. Hell yeah. You're gonna not need to be afraid of anything. If you care what other people think, you're screwed. You know what freedom is? Freedom is not caring what anybody else thinks. You heard all these people's opinion today of telling you how to win. Guess what? Maybe some of you, that's not for you. You know in your heart what you need to do. Listen, I got massive ADD. It's really hard for me to take tests and read books. Now, I'm not making an excuse, it just, it just is. I know me, so I have to lay shit down. I have to study extra hard. I have to say word tracks 10, 15, 30 times, 100 times, okay? I gotta practice everything until it's not new to me anymore. And then once it's not new, then I know it, right? That's my goal. But once I get it, you're screwed. I'm like a sniper. I want you to know, I want you, whatever it is that you do, I want you to be undeniably the best. Cool? Write down compressing time frames. What would take you 20 years to do? If I could show you how to do it in one year, would you not be too stupid not to do that? Let me show you how easy it is to beat the world. Most people have opted out of winning, which means they've opted into losing. You know how I know they've opted into losing? Because I look around and see losers everywhere. And I'm not being disrespectful, I'm just calling it out, okay? So I want you to do me a favor. Everybody write these things down. 365, 52, and 12. This is how I got great fast. 365 means this. If you got better every day, how many times do you get better a year? Five. Cool, how many weeks are there a year? 52. If you got better once a week and you only found time to study once a week to get better, how many times would you get better a year? How many years would it take you to match this person? Seven years. Listen to me, you wanna, you wanna really go out and beat everybody? What's the best investment you'll ever make? You. Yeah. How do you speak? How do you talk? Your dialect, your dialogue, right? Your ability to lead. Your ability to not be afraid anymore, man. You can get it once you win. But I want you to know this, 52 weeks in a year, takes you seven years, okay? Because you're the investment, okay? Now guess what, you get better every day, she gets better what? Every week, it takes her seven years to get as good as you did in one year. That's called compressing time frames. How long do you want it to take, guys? How long? What if you're one of these people that only get better once a month? Well, 12 times what? Is, that's 20 years. You ever want to know why some people never make it? It's right there, do the math. David Goggins broke the pull-up record at 4,000, you know what he said? He said, I can do 4,000 pull-ups. Yeah, we'll just do two, we'll do, let's do two a minute, three a minute. That's how he broke it down into numbers. Do you feel me? Okay, mm -hmm. this is it. Does everybody understand this simple math? Easy. Now look, why do we make it complicated? You see so many people wondering why they're not getting better? You're not making the time to invest in yourself. It's that simple. Okay, but I want to tell you a secret weapon for those of you that raised your hand. Those that are capable for the highest threshold of pain are the ones that are capable for the most. So I want to explain something to you. When you've been in the grinder, you've had your back against the wall, you've had shit happen to you, you know what? When the stress gets high, you know what? You're good. You don't break. Do you hear me? 
You don't break, use it as your superpower. Those that come from nothing can end up with the most. Do you hear me? Yeah. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. Great family, you had a great upbringing, right? You got great parents, my kids, my wife, we got three children, right? They're gonna have a great upbringing. We're never gonna be split. Here's our goal, our kids are gonna have everything they need and more. Our hardest problem is, is them going out with everything they need and still staying hungry in the world. Right? That'll be our challenge. How many of you, somebody told you you're never gonna amount to nothing? Bradley always says, you'll never earn more than your own self-worth. Like what you think you're worth, like is what you're gonna earn. And a lot of the times, because since we were little, we like get programmed by like what people say about us, what we've been through, the relationships, and all that. I wanna tell you something. He says, get into sales. You know what happened? I didn't know how to speak. I stuttered, okay? So some of you, you sound like right now. Guess what? So did I. I was the worst of the worst. I didn't know how to think. I didn't have any money. I didn't have a car. I didn't have nothing. I had a bad mindset. I made straight B's. I barely graduated school. Why? Because nobody taught me to raise my freaking standards. I want you to know whatever you're doing right now, okay? Like Brad, like I always will say, never quit. Take quitting off the table. Brad's like, hey, sometimes you need to quit so you can get on to what you really need to get on to. Does that make sense? Yep. So I don't know whether you need to quit what it is you don't like to do, go do what it is you want, or whether you got what you want right now, but you're just not going all in on you. But the biggest deal is, I decided that day, if I could become the best salesman in the world, that that would be my way out. All I want in life are two words. I want loyalty, okay? I want trust. I need to have these two things. These are two things I didn't have growing up, I wanted them. Versus I quit. And by the way, you may say, why'd you quit? Because I lost this. I, I gave everything to him, and actually I put, a, I put the company in front of my family, which is a number one no-no. But guess what happened? We all learned, right? But we found our way to winning. I started over, and we took our business serious. You know what I did from 2018 to 2019? I'm gonna go to the sales zone. All I did was make content. Now listen. This is kind of crazy, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story, but I'm gonna draw it here, okay? Everybody know what CTA means, call to action? Okay. I was watching the Gary Vee deal, right? And Gary Vee's like, oh, text me on my text community, you know, da 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 And I texted it because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna text this guy. And I realized it was a text community deal, right? Which I didn't really even understand what that was because I wasn't in marketing. I worked for someone else and I sold and closed. You know what I'm saying? Well, guess what? I decided, Gary Vee said, put out four to six pieces of content a day on every platform. Now, how many times have you guys kept hearing all these people say, make content, make content, make content, make content? Have you heard that all day? Yeah. Look, dude, success leaves clues, right? Look, I'm gonna tell you this, okay? An iPhone, I don't know how to record. Matter of fact, I don't know how to speak. It was a line, it was the alpha. And by the way, a confused mind does nothing. So whatever you're learning today, take what you need to take and study and focus on that. Okay, when you go home tonight, you should know exactly what it is that you're gonna do. Okay? I shot free content. Ask my wife, swear to God, we started in our kitchen, right? Then we started our kitchen and I put a dress shirt on and I literally get my iPhone out and it was horrible. No pants, like, by the way. But I have no pants on because you can always stay up to here, right? But, but watch, I mean, I don't wear shoes that, that much or a shirt. I mean, that's the way I run around, you know what I'm saying? But the idea of it is I needed four to six pieces of content a day. Well, guess what? I got on YouTube, don't know what I'm doing. So you know what I keep doing? I keep doing what I know that I know to do. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm beating my competitions and I'm burning their eyes out with my winning just by doing it earned and organic.